Okay, so today we're going to learn how to create an electric water type effect like these that we created earlier. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing you want to do is create a new picture. I did 400 by 400 pixels for this. And you just want to select background color black. Next thing we want to do is apply a lens flare filter by going into filter, render, and then lens flare. Just leave the brightness at 100%. You can sort of play around with this to get a different effect at the end, but we'll stick with 100% for now. Okay, the next thing we want to do is apply a chrome filter by going into sketch and then chrome. Now with this filter we want to have maximum detail and zero smoothness. So you can play around with this as well, but we'll just leave it as this for now. So I'm just going to hit OK there. Then the next thing we want to do is create a duplicate layer and then change the blending mode here to lighten and then just duplicate that five more times okay so what we want to do now is the first um, layer here we want to add a distort filter a wave distort filter so we just select wave and just click randomize a few times and then hit OK and then just do the same for four of those layers Sorry. filter distort wave then filter distort wave Filter, distort, wave. For the last two layers, uh, if you just go into filter, distort, and twirl, and we'll set it to minus 150, and then for the last one, we we'll go filter, distort, twirl, and we'll leave it as positive 150. Now we want to merge all the layers together, so if you just go into layer and then merge visible then what we want to do is adjust the saturation of the image by going into image adjustments hue and saturation and then we just want to set this or tick colorize first and then set the hue to around 200 so and then the saturation to around 40 40 or 50 to get that sort of watery type effect and leave the lightness as zero. After that we want to add a Gaussian blur filter by going to filter blur, Gaussian blur and then you want to set the pixels at you know three, three to four so we'll use 3.5 for this example then you want to go into edit and then fade Gaussian blur and then select overlay and now you can change the capacity here to sort of give you a more detailed or lighter effect depending on what your preference is. So I'm going to choose say around 50%. Okay and then that's it. And then that's how you get your sort of electric liquid type effect. Now I hope this has helped you out. Um, look out for more free video tutorials on our website at lovetohelp.com. That's L-U-V number two H-E-L-P dot com. Thank you. Goodbye and good luck.